Hi everyone. In this video for grade 9, we have chapter 1, section 4, which is about real numbers. On page 16 on the book, real numbers are composed of two parts, which are rational and irrational numbers. Rational numbers are composed of those all numbers that you studied till now, like fractions, like decimals, like positive numbers, negatives, uh, any kind of number that you studied till now until grade 8. They are all rational. Irrational numbers, we mean those numbers that cannot be expressed as a, a fraction and they will have decimals that go on forever. If we have a number in a point, a decimal, a number, point, some other numbers which is not repeating but they are going forever. There is no ending. For example, 2.3487, but it doesn't finish, it doesn't end. This case would be a rational number. But the case of that they are repeating, for example, 61, 61, 61. But we know it goes 61, 61, 61. It is rational. It is irrational, this one. This case is rational. Uh, the case which is ending for the points, for example, negative 7.5. There is ending. Directly it is rational. For the points we have these three cases. Ending, rational, doesn't end, but repeating, rational. Doesn't end, doesn't repeat, irrational. But for the fractions, for the integers, for the whole numbers, like 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 1, negative 5, negative 10, they are all rational. Now, if you have a look on this chart, on these graphs, rational numbers, we mean these kind of numbers. Irrational numbers are these kind of numbers. Square roots, especially we have square roots, like square root of 5. Those which are not perfect, square root of 3, square root of 10, these kind of square roots, they are irrational. Those square roots with, uh, which are not perfect, perfect square roots, we know, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, these numbers are perfect. But except these numbers, the others which they didn't have perfect square, they will be a part of irrational numbers, which is very essential to know. But the rest, like these numbers you studied in grade 1, 2, 3, they are rational, natural numbers, integers, negative and positive numbers. Those numbers which are point but ending, point but ending, point but ending, point but repeating, 6, 6, 6 goes on, 2 point, 15, 15, 15, 15 goes on, they are repeating, they are rational. Now we have some kind of questions. Like example one, write all names that apply to each number. The names are natural, natural number, uh, integer, rational, irrational. Any natural number or any integer, they are directly rational. This one, is it rational or irrational at first? It is irrational because it's not perfect. When it's irrational, it cannot be integer, it cannot be natural number. This one, it's decimal. Decimals are not natural number, decimals are not integer. But decimal is ending. There's ending, we can see. In this case, it is only rational. <coughs> Third one, we have square root of 16 over 4. Square root of 16, we know it is 4 over 4, which would be 1. In this case, 1 is a natural number, yes. Natural number, it asks you for each name that applies to these numbers. Natural, and this is an integer, it's positive 1. Integer, and... It is when it's natural or it's integer directly, we can say this is rational. 
This is done. For the other one, example two, state if each number is rational, irrational, or not real number. We just talk about these three, which is very important. These rational, irrational, not real number. For the not real numbers, not real numbers, we have two cases you must know. When you see that, it's not real number. Directly you say it's not real number. If it's not one of these two cases, you will think about it. Maybe it would be rational or it would be irrational. The two cases, one, if you have negative, negative inside square root, negative inside square root. Two, if you have a fraction but denominator, down part is zero. These two cases, down part is zero, it is not real. Zero inside the square root, zero inside, uh, sorry, negative number inside the square root, zero in the denominator, negative in the square root. These two, they will not be real number. Uh, number one, which is square root of 15. Square root of 15, is it perfect from the beginning? You think about it from the per perfect. We have 9, 16, those numbers, but we don't have 15. So it's not perfect. So it is irrational. Second one, we have denominator down part is 0. When down part is 0, directly we can say this is not real. Third one, which is square root of 1 over 9. Square root of 1 over 9, we can take that from the square root. Square root of 1 is 1. Square root of 9 is 3. It's 1 over 3. 1 over 3, we can say that it's rational. It can be written as a fraction. And the last one, which you see, <coughs> there is negative inside the square root. Whenever you see negative inside square root, directly you can say this is not real. We have these two, three cases that you must know about them. For the not real numbers, which are these two cases. For the irrational numbers, mostly we have the square root of numbers which are not perfect. The rest mostly would be a rational number. And the last type of question that we have in this section, it is find a number between these two. To find a number between these two numbers that you have from the question, always you can add these two numbers, then divide them by two. We can add these two numbers if it's given as fraction or as decimal, add them plus them, then at the end divide by two. This is one and one over three and 1 and 1, uh, 2 over 3. In this case, at first we make them normal fractions, always multiply, then plus. 1 multiply 3, 3, 3 plus 1 is 4 over, same denominator, 4 over 3, always plus, again, for the second one, multiply, plus, 1 multiply 3 is 3, plus 2 is, uh, 5 over 3. Then equals <coughs> that one will be 4 over 3, that one will be 5 over 3. When you add them, you must have same denominator. Yes, we have it. We will put back 3 and that would be 9. 9 over 3 means 3. Fine. We found the number. This is first step. You add them. Second step, you divide this result by 2. 3 divided by 2 means 3 over 2. Or uh, we can say 1.5. That's it. 1.5 is the number between these two numbers. The next one, again, we add them in the first step. We add these two numbers, then we divide them by two. 
we say negative 1 over 10 plus 0 directly we can say it is negative 1 over 10 then we divide it by 2 negative 1 over 10 divide by 2 always you can change division to multiply by how we can do always you must write the first number same the first fraction same change it to multiply flip the second one always when it's one number it means denominator is one you can flip it it would be multiply by one over two write the first one same change to multiply flip the second fraction it would be negative one over 20 it means this is a number between these two numbers that we have that's all about this section to know rational, irrational and not real numbers and how to find a number between two numbers that you have. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.